Matsushita Diner, Saturday, 10 18 a.m. Oh, hello. I assume that's his mom. She kind of looks like a frog, too. I'm sorry, we aren't open yet. Good, then your son won't be embarrassed when I arrest him. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. Does her shirt say hipster? I flashed my badge. Oh, heavens no! I is my boy... I is Ota in trouble? I don't Come know, ma'am. I just have a few questions. I'm just here to ask some questions. He hurried out of the kitchen. And you're Ota's... Why are you brandishing a knife at me? His mother. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita. Before we talk, could I make a request? I would love some breakfast. Mm -hmm. Could you put that knife down, please? Oh, goodness. Sorry, sorry. Mayumi put the knife down on the table beside her. Fool! Now the knife is mine! There's a kitchen knife on the table. Something is engraved on the handle. What's engraved on the handle? Zoom. Enhance. A kitchen knife with a floral pattern. And there's something written on the handle. Mom, I love you always. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me. Why is it flashing? There's a floral pattern kitchen knife on the table. It looks like Oda gave it to Mayumi for Mother's Day. Does this a remind bucket. you of your delinquent youth? Hey now, don't judge a book by its cover. Besides, I have no memory of my youth. But it is sparking some faint nostalgia. Oh no. It's a mop. A bucket. Eh, I'm only gonna check out the things that look interesting, like this poster. A beer ad on the wall. You have zero standards, Konami Date. I don't know. I think I have at least one standard. That it be a cute girl. Even if they don't have eyeballs. A lucky cat statue. That was right in my ear. Are you unfamiliar with the superstition? Yes. Imitating a cat's meow to a lucky cat statue grants that person happiness and luck. Is that right? That's just the calendar. Thank goodness we have that. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what year it is. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. It says good luck. Now let's check out the menus, too. Menus written on the wall on Tanzaku paper. A swinging door. A swinging door. I can see the kitchen area past the counter. Okay. Uh, where's your husband? I think he 
went to buy some ingredients. He comes and goes all the time without telling me. This is nothing new. Yeah, that, that seems normal. I mean, why does why do you always need to tell everybody when you're about to do something? Just go do it. A little bit more small talk. Rain about that weather. It's pretty bad, wasn't it? Wonderful day to hail Crocker. The rain? Oh, right, yes. Do you know Shoko Natami? I decided to ask her about Shoko, just in case. Brought out the picture of Shoko and showed it to my Does Yumi. this woman look familiar to you? No, I don't recognize her. Who is she? No one. Don't worry about it. Is Oda here? That boy. He's been hanging out at this office building lately. Are you sure it's an office building or is it an internet cafe and he's just playing games all day? What kind of office? A place where irresponsible young men hang out. Nonconformists and the like. What, like gangsters? Oh, heavens no, nothing like that. Oto wouldn't go to a place like that. Then... Oh, I remember. It's a production office, an entertainment company. So what, is he trying to make anime? Well, that's not important to me. I just need to pin the blame for the murder on him and my job's done. What's the name of the company? Um, what was it? I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. I know, you said you don't even know what year it is unless you look at the calendar. Why does Oda hang out there? Because there's a goddess there. So a single woman working the counter? A what? Ota says it all the time. A goddess. More like a witch, if you ask me. I know, I'm trying to tear this boy away from his mommy. A witch, huh? How dare she? How dare he have interest in other people? A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Makes him spend all his money on her. You see that box over there? That box in the corner? The one on the table? Yes. Just look. You'll see what I mean. I will, because I didn't even register that before. Do you want to see? I do want to see. It was delivered a little while ago. Is it for his Any shrine of her inside his closet? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. She forces Oda to buy them. I know it. I don't think that's exactly how it is. It's a cardboard box. There's a delivery slip attached to it. The sender is Great Grin. A popular online store. The product description reads, Solid Model. That Azamon company? They almost have a monopoly on online store shipping. We should look inside. Yes, Use we should. Alright, we have that. X-Ray. Yeah, I don't think the girl at the counter is forcing him to buy anime figures. Now, what is this? A solid PVC model of a person, known as a figure. Something's written on the base. A set. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of X-ray vision should make them legible. A set. 
Allow me to investigate. A moment, please. What's up with the heartbeats? Is it jogging my memory? Am I getting past my amnesia? I guess we'll talk to you some more. Is this witch working there? Yes, that good-for-nothing temptress works for that entertainment group. She's an idol. Do you know her name? I'm assuming it's not witch. Her name? Um, I don't remember. I just call her the witch. All right, we're getting nowhere. She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah. Mind if I take some of these chopsticks? Might need them later to catch some bullets out of the air. The item description says something about a solid model. X-ray it again. ASAP. Package for Ota. Didn't actually want to do that. Nothing else to click on in there. Not sure why it's still green. Can you call him? Call him? Yes. Does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? So you could call him when he's not at the house? doesn't have one he better not waste of money you can abandon this line of questioning Date. Ota does have a phone I found his number call it I have already attempted to call multiple times there is no connection either the phone is off or he has no reception let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere that would be unsanitary as well as a violation of waste disposal codes well, I don't think murderers care about the sanitary condition of their victims or waste disposal codes. Date, I found some information about the figure. What you got, Asa Iba? is the name of a popular female musician. That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. An Aset figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemnisgate. That's where Rinju works. Or what he owns, or something like that. Sorry, what? I repeat, Lemnisgate. Renju owns that company. Correct. Uh, excuse me. Does the name Lemnisgate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Ota goes. Goes to Loom Biscuit concerts. Iba, bring the car around. I guess we'll have to go find him at one. At once. One more thing. Tell me about your restaurant. Oh, it's just a little diner. Seems like you have some nice prices on whatever it is you're selling, and it's not too expensive. But not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers here. I manage it with my husband, but it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. I'll bet. Julia. What? This establishment is near the Kawasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. That could mean... Never mind. People are crossing the border to eat at her restaurant illegally? How long have you been here? about 30 years now. We had to borrow a lot of money to get started, but back then, everyone was willing to lend you money. About this idol, ASAP. You mentioned a box. That's it? Yep, that's it. Thank you for the information, ma'am. I'll be going now.
Lemniscuit, Saturday, 11.45 a.m. That's it? Correct. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? I'm Justice. I showed him my badge. The, the police? I'll just laugh over break that thing in half. If you can pay for the damages. Damn it. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. Can we zoom in on that? Let me zoom. Ayaba, help me out here. Promotional videos of the agency's talent are playing. Nothing dirty, though. This isn't that kind of company. Lots of magazines on that rack. Let's see, how to, how to take a girl home in just two minutes. I think I'll take a look at that. Anything else interesting around here? Nope. Let's chat, Oda. Look at me when I'm talking to you. No. I'm kind of busy right now. I'm kind of busy too, holding my fist back from your face. I gotta look at your face. Oda won't even look in my direction. He's just typing away on his laptop. You a fan of Asa? How did you know that? I know everything. Because I'm psychic. <laughs> Excuse me? What are you typing? Nothing. It's clearly something. Unless he means he's typing the word nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? Nope. Tell me about last night. Last night? Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, Ota, look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Don't need one if you're a murder suspect, do I? Article 2-3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Unless initiated by legal process, no person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. This is the type of kid I hate the most. Yes. Punch him. Date, wait. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. Then what should I do? I but turn off the security cameras, then it'll just be my word against his, and the big old welt on his face. I have an idea. Give me a moment. Hack his computer. Kick him. I told you to wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. You're doing something, Iba. Hurry it up. Dosage needs to be increased. What? What dosage what? are you talking about? Listen to me, Date. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Show me his screen. Does Tessa refer to Aset? That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. What a well thought out handle. It's just his name backwards and the first initial of his uh, last name. 
first letter of his last name. What? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all OTA subaccounts. OTA is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. This kid is pathetic. Tell me about it. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. What do you want? I want you to stop ignoring me, for one. I'm gonna tell Asa. Tell her what? That you're insulting her. That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. Nah, uh, uh, what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Not defamation if it's true. Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? Told you, I'm psychic. I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, I have some questions for you. <sighs> Fine. I don't care about what he's doing here. About last night. I'm gonna ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? Y yes Why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey everyone, uh, this guy... Okay, okay, I'll talk, just... Last night, why were you there? I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Did you enter the park? Yes. Okay. So, Rinju knows this guy's obsessed with ASAP. Uh, contacted him using ASAP's like idle credentials. Told him to meet. Her there, so he thought he was going to meet her. He went and heard the screaming because Rinju wanted the cops to come and find the body, and then he went and uh, called the cops, just like Rinju wanted. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. Oh. What did you say? Mizuki Okiyura. She's the daughter of the president of Lemniscate. Do you know her? Yeah. I know her. How do you know Mizuki? She's just a friend. Yeah, she better be. Yeah, she's 12. You're 24. What are you doing going to meet 12-year-old kids in an abandoned amusement park at night? What? Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here. The Lemniscate Lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. Well, what am I supposed to call it? Acquaintanceship? Or just say you've known her for about a year? How do you know me? Didn't I just ask this? Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? The fake account stuff? I write light novels. Oh. Really? What's your pen name? Moto? Kyoma. That is a lie. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. Don't lie to me, Ota. Hey, Ota. How about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. 
So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Can you provide a detailed account of last night? Around 8.10 last night. I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. So her dad held her as a hostage too and forced her to make the call instead of pretending it was Aset trying to meet him. And then the rest of what I said. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. What? Keep going? What happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. Then why didn't you see the dead body? Or I, I guess you did see the dead body. Why'd you abandon her? Oh. Because you're more of a coward than a sixth grader. Did you leave her there? You left a 12-year-old girl by herself? I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. See, I knew you would make fun of me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Bullseye. Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, her roommate would kill her. Good girl. So Mizuki has been living with me bef since before, well, cle clearly before the incident, but I'm so curious why her dad doesn't have custody. Why'd you use a payphone? Well, clearly because he didn't want to be found, because he abandoned a 12-year-old. I tried using my cell phone at first, but my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And you dropped it in the sewer. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Oath's phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. What are you doing? Tessa! Just like the figure. I'm an activate x ray mode. Wait, first run of background check. How old is this girl? From the MPD. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean, a detective? Wow! I've never met a real detective before! That was a long stare. Date, your adrenaline level is rising. 
Is something the matter? No. I've never met a real idol before. It's a dream come true. Did you talk to her about last night, Oda? Oh, um... I heard about it. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park? He told me. Tessa? Why didn't you come to the police? Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. He told her about a dead body he found for attention? I mean, how much could he have possibly told her? He didn't even try to poke it with a stick. I already knew about it before Ota told me. And how's that? How? It's all over the internet. When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. We'll get to you in a second, Asa. What do you know about Shoko Natomi, Ota? Took out Shoko's photo from my pocket and showed it to Ota. You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait. Is it already on the news? Do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe because her last name is different. Nadami and Okiura. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. We don't need to be telling them that. That's privileged information. Tell me about Asa. You always look so cute. Focus, Ota. You're talking to me. So cute. So cute that I can't take it. Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully familiar with her. I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. When I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff, you know? Okay, let's take a look at your face. Mm -hmm. Something wrong? I'm committing your face to memory. We got a very photogenic memory. Uh, just to clear up any misconceptions anybody might have if they're watching my eyeball camera. You are ASAP, correct? Let me confirm something. You're ASAP, right? Let's play a game! Shadows! What? Um, thread, silhouette, ASAT. What? Fierce. Uh, upset, regret, ASAT. I don't understand. Water. Wet, sweat, ASAT. Magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave. At once. We need a bit more information first, Ayaba, but I agree with you. We should get away from these people. How old are you? I turned 18 this year. That's good. That's good. So, Ayaba, about what we talked about earlier. I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. But she's 18, Iba. Don't worry. I'm not gonna make a move. I mean, I'm only... What, how, how old was I? 30? What? Oh. I meant Ota. Wait. 
You were gonna make a move on me? <laughs> oh, that caught me off guard. Why is he so happy about it? <laughs> What's your relationship with Ota? Relationship? We're like a goddess in a summon thrall. Her thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. You don't even consider yourself a white knight? Even in your mind, you're just a thrall? <laughs> you sound more like a superhero than a thrall. Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. Well, he's the one doing the bashing, so... Stop! You're making me blush! This guy... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna out him. That's not healthy. About the stock puppet in. Let me tell you something. It's about those posts on two winner. Wait! Huh. Looks like you're my thrall now. Isn't that right, Ota? I always wanted a sidekick. Yeah, just be cool. Friends with Mizuki? Mizuki Okiura? Yeah, yep. I am! Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter, so... We hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically... Mizuki and I live under the same roof. She doesn't care... She doesn't tell me about her personal life. He doesn't tell me much of anything, come to think of it. I'm totally in the dark. So, Mizuki must come here to hang out sometimes. Alright, we're leaving. Date, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nodami. Let us continue. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? None of your beeswax. Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. Uh, I'm sorry, was I even aware you were a police officer? No, you stay here. It's my Wait, job. What? Please take me with you. No. Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. And learn about it in the newspaper when we solve the murder. Or on a Netflix documentary in like five years. Do you have any suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Oto is telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. They probably listened to one of your albums backwards, and that's what made them do it. Ota, take a video! Huh? Just do it! Mr. Date! Please, Mr. Date! You can't leave me! What? I can't imagine life without you! What are you doing? Ota, did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah. Are you trying to blackmail me? Well, now that I'm over here, I can get a better look at that receptionist. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. Oh, that's it. I can't do anything else. A receptionist with huge breasts is sitting. What's on that door back there? The door. There's probably an office back there. 
Okay. Tell me what you were up to. What were you doing? Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? Uh, everyone would know it's a lie because I'm also recording everything with my eyeball. You wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little... I'ma wipe her phone and the cloud. Take everything off of the cloud. Why are you glaring at me, frog boy? No, not at all. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. So you killed once and you've got a taste for it and you're planning to do it again. <laughs> I see how it is. I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Huh? Oh, they're staring daggers at me. Why are you doing this to me, lady? I told you. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. And why would I trust you? Date, a thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductress. Asa has a rather inappropriate smile on her face, given the circumstances. Hmm. Alright, well I think that's where we are going to... Well, let's read some files first, then we'll end it. Got some more information on Ota. Oh, it's updated on here. Well, maybe we just didn't have any of this before? Profession, light novel author, self-declared. Likes Asa and Chocolate. Dislikes Tessa's enemies, which are him, so he dislikes himself, and preachy people. Hobbies, nut idols, and maid cafes. Skills, cooking omelet rice, driving, and sock puppeting. Ota is Mayumi's son, an enthusiastic follower of Aset. He often pushes the boundary between idols and fans. He writes his own light novels and gets editing advice from his friend Mizuki. And then his mama. Mayumi Matsushita, female, 54, born August 31st. Part it's her restaurant, but she only works part-time. Part-time worker, likes floral patterns, Ota and Takero, I assume that's the name of her husband. Dislikes, witches, everything that witch does. Hobbies, cleaning the shop and making soy sauce. Skills, everyday cuisine, obscure puns. Mayumi is Ota's mother. Over 30 years ago, she and her husband took out, a, took out significant loans to open Matsushita Diner near the Kabasaki District. She has been running the diner ever since. Lately, her memory has begun to get spotty. Is, uh, is Amnesia contagious in this game? Because if I'm not the only one and other people are starting to forget stuff and it, it can't be from old age. But yeah, that, that's where we're gonna end it for now. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Uh, if you happen to be watching on YouTube, maybe leave a like and subscribe. Helps the video get shown to more people. And if you're new to the stream and watching on Twitch, uh, maybe click the follow button so you can see when I'm live again, so you can catch the rest of this game. And I will see y'all next time. Peace.